A county fair certainly in full swing all across the state this summer. Ryan Valenta visited a central Nebraska fair and highlighted an organization that plays a big part in county fairs all over Nebraska. It is the heart of summer, which means it is county fair season in Nebraska. Almost fairs are known for their carnivals and exquisite foods, which don't get me wrong, are a big part of county fairs. There's one part of fairs that can be often overlooked, and that's youth 4-H programs, which get a chance to show off their skills at county fairs, and they tackle a little bit of everything in between, from food to life skills to animals. She's really good sheep. When those carnival rides and food stands lie dormant in the mornings, 4-H programs are the sole heartbeat of county fairs, which do more than just show off animals. Anything that you would desire to do, you can do in 4-H. It's not all about the animals. A lot of people think 4-H is only for the kids that live in the country. It's for city kids too. 4-H programs have shows year-round, but county fairs are often thought of as the showcase or capstone project of the 4-H season. Adams County 4-H Extension Assistant Julie Oxner has been involved with 4-H for decades, but is still impressed by what kids can accomplish each year. It just always amazes me with maybe a little eight-year-old uh, girl that doesn't weigh 100 pounds leading a 1,400-pound steer. The animals are so tame, so docile, and you can really see the love and the bond that the animal has with the child. More than 100 youth gathered Thursday in Hastings at the Adams County Fairgrounds to show off their sheep in the morning. Adam Central 6th grader Wyatt Rathji showed his two sheep for the fourth year and says this year was a personal best. This morning, the first animal I showed was my ram, which I got reserve champion with him. And then with my other sheep, he's over there right now, I got champion for junior showmanship. And what are your sheep's names? One of them name is Jeffrey and one of them is Chester. Wyatt's cousin Grayson and his brothers are racing this weekend. Even though Grayson lives closer to the Nebraska State Fair in Grand Island, he says he appreciates the intimacy of county fairs. I kind of like here because it's smaller, it's not as big, so I can just have more fun and run around so my mom doesn't have to worry about me. Besides livestock showing, 4-H members are bringing their static exhibits, making food and a whole lot more to county fairs across the state this summer. 4-H in Nebraska is open to youth ages as young as 5 all the way up to 18. And most county programs have registration open year-round. If you want to be doing cool things like these cool kids, then 4-H may be just the thing you're looking for. Reporting from the Adams County Fair in Hastings, Ryan Valenta, News Channel Nebraska. Meanwhile, kids between the ages of 2 and 12 get to experience agriculture and how it impacts their daily lives through an immersive field to fork concept in Grand Island. Let's take a look. So where are we at? We're at Little Feet on the Farm at the Hall County Fair. This is a field to fork concept where the kids could come in and they can pick up um, seed from the field. They can go to the chickens and, and collect the eggs. They can go milk a cow. Uh, they can go pick apples and pears from the orchard. And then they take those bags of seed and they feed it to the animals. Um, and then the, we have a little garden where we have tomatoes, cucumbers, potatoes, um, tomatoes. They can pick that produce and then they can go and take it to the grocery store. So the whole concept is filled to fork. So how does it get to the store? Did we get eggs? We got eggs? Did we get apples? Did we milk the cow? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we feel it's important at this age because this is when they're learning and they're growing and Younger ages seem to like grasp that a little bit more than when they get older. So it's teaching them where our food comes from, and what anim about animals. We went to the barn and we learned about them. I, I feel like it makes them go home and talk to their parents and talk about you know where the food comes from. It helps create conversation and it helps families talk about where our food comes from. And you can stay up to date with the very latest by following us online. Head to newschannelnebraska.com and click on the news tab there. You can also follow us on X, like us on Facebook and Instagram as well. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. This is NCN.